I would like to invite to the stage Pam Omidyar of Humanity United and Pierre Omidyar of the Fund for Humanity United. They have been wonderful friends to Hillary and me and to the Clinton Global Initiative from the very beginning. And Andrew Forrest and Nicola Forrest of Walk Free. I'd like to ask them to come up. This announcement has the potential, if the rest of us help them, to save more lives than virtually anything we have discussed at this year's CGI. For several years, we have tried to highlight the importance of efforts to reduce human trafficking and human bondage. We have had a lot of efforts in that direction, but none with this potential. An estimated 27 million men, women, and children are enslaved across the globe. The largest number in human history, as nearly as we can determine. Modern-day slavery manifests itself in many forms, but each is similar in violations of basic human dignity and human rights. Despite a growing awareness of the scope of the problem, public and private resources are completely inadequate to combat this in all its forms. At last year's annual meeting, President Obama discussed this and made the second longest speech on human slavery in the history of the country. I was very glad that the United States that had stuck a big oar in the water, as the president said, but I'm especially pleased today at the response of these CGI members. Humanity United, in partnership with Walk Free and the Legatum Foundation, are committing to establishing a $100 million freedom fund to combat modern-day slavery. This fund represents an unprecedented effort to coordinate current resources, galvanize new donors and interested parties, and align investments so that funding is allocated to assure maximum impact. This is the ultimate designing and mobilizing for impact. Using a hotspot intervention model that targets resources to geographic areas where the prevalence of modern-day slavery is highest. The fund will be used to drastically reduce the number of people living in slavery over the next seven years. This is a really great thing. You know, in his former life, Pierre had a reasonable amount of success. Andrew is still enjoying that. This is a huge deal. And we should all support this. Anybody who has any personal experience has ever personally seen anybody in the 21st century living in bondage knows that this is real and unforgivable. So let's give them a big hand and a lot of support. Thank you. <laughs> 